Hi guys, what is going on? It's Dyson and Dyson Ange here, and today guys, I'm going to be making a second tutorial for the Unlimited Liquid Divinium. So, I've had a lot of people requesting me to do this and to go more in detail, so I'm going to be attempting to do this. Um, I'm going to be using pretty much the same footage, because there's no other footage that I really need to get, because uh, the footage shows exactly what I have to do. However, I'm hopefully going to go into a lot more detail on the exact steps, and hopefully explaining it a lot better than I did last time. So yeah guys, let's just jump straight into it. Okay guys, so there are a couple of requirements for this glitch. The first thing is you need to be connected wired to your internet from your console. So essentially you need to have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of your console. I've also been told that it can work if you use a hotspot on your phone and connect your Xbox or PS4 to your hotspot. Um, however, I can't really confirm this because I always just use an Ethernet. And the second thing is guys, you need a challenge that is get so many kills and you get a liquid divinium for it. So the most common challenges are like getting kills with a pack a bunch starting pistols, getting kills with pack a bunch shotguns, pack a bunch submachine guns and pack a bunch LMGs, pack a bunch snipe. It's mostly those type of challenges. So if it's like, for example, one that I see quite a lot is rebuild like five sets of barriers in 45 seconds to get a liquid. That does not work, guys. It has to be a challenge that gives you kills. But yeah, guys, let's just jump straight into what to do with the challenge. So pretty much what you want to do guys is you want to complete your challenge up till there's one kill left. So for example, as you can see on screen, I've got 79 out of 8 kills for my challenge. So say you have the shotgun challenge, which is to get 200 kills with pack up and shotguns, you would kill up to 199 and then just end the game. So once you got that guys, we are ready to jump into pretty much step 2, and step 2 is the part that most people get confused on. So I think the reason most people get confused about step 2 is because I use the word loop. Um, I'm not sure many people understand exactly what I'm meaning by that. So I'm going to use the word stack instead and hopefully it's going to make some more sense. So what I'm going to be showing you in this next step is how to stack liquid diviniums on your account. So once you've got like a certain amount of liquid diviniums in your stack that you're happy with, say you have 10 liquid diviniums in your stack, you can then duplicate your stack which is going to be step 3. So step 2 which we're going to be going over right now is how to add liquid diviniums to your stack. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay guys, so we are of course doing step two now. Um, so if you actually look in the top left, you'll, I'll have written there whether you're doing step one, step two, or step three. So hopefully that's gonna make things a lot clearer as well. So when I say duplicate step two, like replicate step two, you'll know where to start from. So pretty much guys, what we're gonna do is just jump into any map, it really does not matter. So I'm picking Shadows of Evil just because I had a setup going for it. So you need to get into game and you need to get ready to get a kill to complete your challenge. So for example, if you need to get a pack on shotgun, you might jump into a map, get a wall power or a thermal enhancement, and then get your pack up punch KRM. So pretty much you just need to get set up to complete your challenge. So once you've done this guys, what I recommend doing is actually getting a zombie in front of you and pausing the game. You then want to go to the back of your console and get ready to pull the effort out, okay guys? So you've got to be ready. So as soon as you shoot and get that kill, you want to pull the effort out. You can't wait a second, it's got to be pretty much instant after you shoot. But also guys, make sure you do not pull it before you shoot, because that will not work it again, obviously. So just make sure as soon as you press the RT or R1, I think it is on PS4, you pull your Ethernet. Okay guys, so after you've got your kill, you're going to want to go ahead and close the Black Ops 3 application. So it's very important that you close your application and then plug in your Ethernet rather than the other way around, as otherwise your challenge codes go straight through still. So make sure you close the application, plug your Ethernet back in, and then load up the Black Ops 3. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now that it's loaded is we're going to go in and connect to the online services as you would normally do. Then you're going to want to get ready to pull your Ethernet out again. So as soon as you click on the zombies, you want to pull your Ethernet out. And it's very important that you do this very quick, just like with completing the challenge. And what it should do is the screen will freeze. So after the screen is unfrozen, you'll notice it starts loading in the bottom right. As soon as you see that little Treyarch symbol, you can plug your Ethernet back in. So what you want to do is you want to let it load and it will kick you back to the main menu. You click X again or A and click play online. So once you're connected to online services again, you may actually get an error if you're if it's taking a while to connect. Uh, just click OK and then click connect or play online again. And what you can do once you've actually connected is you want to jump into a zombies game. So now that we've done this guys, that's pretty much the entirety of step two. And what you're going to do is repeat step two. So go all the way back until you can see in the top left the very start of where it says step two. And just repeat the steps all the way through uh, roughly between 10 and 15 times. What this will do, guys, is it will stack 15 liquid diviniums. So say if you do it 15 times, it will stack 15. If you do it 12 times, it will stack 12. 
And pretty much by repeating this over and over again, you'll add one liquid aluminium to your stack every single time you do this. So that is pretty much step two. So I'm hoping that really cleared up exactly what to do in step two. So just go back to the video. I'll even put a little time marker on screen of where to go to and just repeat the steps from there over and over and over again between 10 to 15 times. After you've done that, guys, we can jump straight into step three. Okay, guys, so now that you've completed step two, you should have between 10 to 15 liquid aluminiums in your stack if you've done it correctly. And now, guys, I'm going to tell you how you can duplicate the stack. So all you need to do, guys, is load up your game, connect to online services, then click A or X on zombies and pull your Fnet immediately, just like you were doing in step two. Once you've pulled your Fnet, just go ahead and close the application, plug your Fnet back in, and then repeat. So every single time you do this, guys, you'll get the amount of liquid aluminiums you got in your stack. So say if you had 12 in your stack, every single time you did this, you would go up by 12 liquid aluminiums. So I actually went up to 20 in my stack once. However, guys, I just do want to put a warning out there. You can go up to a ridiculous number in your stack. However, the higher you go, the more chance it has of glitching out your liquids. So I've heard of people go to 100 in their stack and have absolutely no problem and be getting like 100 liquid aluminiums a minute. However, I've heard of people going to like 60 and then their game is just glitching out and never giving them liquids. So it kind of depends how high you want to go. You could go ridiculously high, get very lucky and never actually have your liquid glitch. And you'll be able to get like thousands of liquid of him a minute if you can be bothered to set it up that high. Um, however, you could also end up going to like 30 and then your liquid glitching out. So I'd recommend sticking at around... 10 to 15 i'd say that's around the safe area but still you know you'll be getting ridiculously fast liquids so yeah guys if this tutorial does help you a lot more hopefully it's a lot better than the last one i really really hope it is so if this does help you actually do it this time make sure to drop a like i really appreciate any support that i get on this video so yeah guys thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one